Hi, Brian Smith here. In this video, I'm going to cover a very cool, very useful new feature in PuTTY called connection sharing. Connection sharing allows you to open up um, a, a normal PuTTY SSH window to a server, but then um, after you do the first connection, you can open up additional connections to that same server, and PuTTY will reuse the same original SSH connection to open up the new windows. So you don't have to re-type in your user ID and password because the authentication was done in the first SSH window and you're just reusing that same connection. Now using that same original connection, you can also use utilities um, like the PSFTP to transfer files to and from the server all over that original SSH connection. You can also use utilities like Plink to run commands on the, the server without having to authenticate using that same SSH um, connection. So what's really big to me, it's, it, it's, it's useful because once you type in your user ID and password once to the server, um, you don't have to type it in anymore for additional connections to that server. So to get started with this, um, the feature is only available on the latest development versions of PuTTY. So if you want to try it out, go to the PuTTY download page. Normally you would get the um, release version here, but you want to keep scrolling down and find the development snapshot and then download the installer for the development snapshot. All right, once you have that installed, go ahead and start up PuTTY, click on About, make sure you're running the development snapshot that's dated after March 22nd. And by default, you, you, you go here to Category, go to SSH, and by default, this new feature is turned off. It's the Share SSH Connection feature. So let's go ahead and turn that on. We're gonna click that box, up here to Session, click on Default, and then click on save. So that'll save in our default profile that that option's enabled. And to verify that, we can go back into PuTTY, click on SSH, and the connection is enabled, or the feature is enabled. All right, so let's go back to session. And to use this feature, first step is to connect to a server using SSH. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so now we've established our first um, PuTTY SSH connection to this server. With the connection sharing feature, any additional um, windows we open will reuse the same SSH connection. So I'm going to right click here and click on duplicate sh session. And notice when I do that, we'll be instantly logged in again without having to retype in the user ID and password. Okay, and you can see there we're, we're logged in. And it says up here, reusing a shared connection to the server. And so Basically, this um, connection here is going through our original SSH connection on this window here. And we can open up as many of these as we want to. So I'm going to duplicate. You can see there I'm logged in again. So the other, thing, the other cool thing you can do with this, if I open up a, uh, a terminal prompt here, I can also use the PuTTY SFTP server that's called PSFTP. And if I connect to that server, you can see it automatically logs me in, I'm reusing a shared connection to the server, and again, it's just reusing the SSH connection from this original window here. I can also use um, utilities like the PuTTY Plink to run commands on the um, on the server. And notice how fast the information is returned, and that's because it's reusing this same SSH connection that's already established. So one interesting thing um, on how this works is these, these windows here where it says reusing a shared connection are going through the, the first window we opened up right here. So if I try to log out here, it's not going to close that window until I close all the, um, the child connections out. So when I close this last child, the main connection up here will close as well. But one thing I did notice, let me, I closed the last one, so now I have to re-log in again. Then I'm going to duplicate, re-log in. So this is the, the child one that's reusing the shared connection, for the master here. So, again, this is the master and this is the, um, the child here. So if I force close the master by clicking the X, it's going to disconnect the child session here. You can see it went inactive. So 
So you want to be mindful of that and not, you know, close out the uh, the main master window that all your other windows are reusing. So, anyways, this is a very cool uh, uh, new feature in Putty. What I really like about it is, you know, once you've opened up one window to a server, you can very quickly duplicate those windows to, to log in again, or you can transfer files using um, PSFTP or run, you know, one-off command using Plink. So very cool new feature and, and hopefully um, the future uh, released versions of Putty will contain it, not just the development version. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks.